one of these. How are you today? Ah, <sighs> okay. I've been home for a few days now, and I think I'm, I think I'm coming down. <laughs> uh, so yeah, my back is. We just won't even talk about that. <clears throat> yeah. I, uh, my back's a mess. So just got to live with it. Right? Um, that's why I have Carol Ann's in my coffee today. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's that kind of day. <clears throat> but, uh, you got a different Sandy today. <laughs> Hair and makeup's done. I'm actually wearing earrings, you guys. Can you believe that? <laughs> These are ear huggers that I got from uh, a lady at the, the last craft fair that we did. <clears throat> They're really, really petite ones uh, with very, very thin, fine wire. So uh, I just thought they were really pretty. So I was going to buy them and try them out. And this is the first time I've been wearing them because I actually totally forgot about them. <laughs> To be honest, I haven't worn earrings in forever. <clears throat> Even though I make them, I don't wear them a lot because I've I've got three holes, but they're all closed up. So yeah, it's like taking my earring and poking it through. It's like yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Anyway, <laughs> so I think I finally caught up on all my videos on, on all of watching everybody's videos. I think. <clears throat> I mean, there's a ton more, I'm sure, but I just kind of went through my my list and and I had to watch 70 videos. Ugh. So I pretty much did it all in two days. <clears throat> so, uh, so that's good, but it was a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I have a finished object actually that's more of a whip thing that I finished uh, and then I have a whip believe it or not <clears throat> that I want to talk to you about okay this is a sweater that I started last year long time ago long time ago uh, that just kind of sat there and all I had to do was the arms and the collar do you think I could get that sucker done? Excuse me, that sucker done? Nope. Nah. -uh. I don't know. I had other things on the brain, um, and I just could not get it done. I was planning on doing a tutorial on it, didn't get done, so it just sat staring at me every day for months. <laughs> but it's finished now. <clears throat> uh, I haven't washed it yet, so it's kind of curled up on the ends a little bit, but. Yeah. Oh, let's see if I can bring it in a little better. Oh, sorry. Oh. Thank God my mannequin is not really heavy. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah. Um, so I finished the sleeves. I did. You can't. Oh, there we go. There's some texturing done on the sleeves. Um, and then... Is it the bead? No, not the bead, sti bead stitch. The cluster. Cluster stitch is these rows. This, I believe, was a mainstay. It's a sparkle yarn. This, I can't remember. I can't remember now what that was. But anyway, it's finished. I'm glad. Um, I want to see it on I guess eh? okay hold that thought okay hope you guys can hear me so this is what it looks like on like I said it's not washed so this part has to relax a little bit <clears throat> so but yeah it's uh it's so comfortable it's so comfortable I just hope when I wash it it doesn't stretch too much and then the arms end up out here I hate that so I made the arms just a little bit smaller, but uh, oh yeah, it's so comfy, so comfy. Ta -da! So there you go. Okay, hold on. Okay, 
So that's that. Um, I really love the cluster stitch for sweaters. I just think it just gives a really nice look, especially if you're using like a, um, a different accent color. So it's one of my favorite stitches. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, the whip that I'm doing is, and I've been try I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, Angela from the Precious Yarnery. Hi, Angela. Um, she just came out with her easy, chunky, hooded sweater. I probably messed that up. Sorry. <laughs> um, she made it a couple weeks ago or something. And I was like, I need that pattern. I need that pattern. I need that pattern. And she's like, I, yeah, I'm working on the tutorial. I'm like, are you done? Are you done? Are you done? <laughs> oh. I have never put a, a hood on a sweater before. I was actually kind of intimidated by it a little bit. I know. I can make the whole sweater, but I can't make a bloody hood. <laughs> I can. I just don't know where to place it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but when I started doing the hoods on the baby sweaters, it gave me this little edge that I was like, oh, I want to do this on a adult sweater. <clears throat> so Angela came out with that and I was like, yes, let's do it. <laughs> so she came out with it last week. Uh, I will put that link down below and I will also put it, I forget which side it is. Hmm? this side maybe uh, I'll put it up there and I encourage you to go and check it out I'm finished the back panel uh, that's one thing about me I hate doing panels for sweaters I don't know what it is I, I think it's the sewing process I don't like putting pieces together um, but <clears throat> I really wanted to try her sweater so I'm gonna do panels yeah, um, her style of crochet, like her style of sweaters and everything is very similar to mine. So it's easy for me to understand. Uh, <clears throat> and I just, I just had to try this sweater. So let's show you what I started using. Um, my base color is from Premier Serenity Chunky and it's black. Okay. Now I've had this one in my stash for quite some time. You would have seen it like over, oops, over here somewhere uh, on my uh, stand. <clears throat> and I have been wanting to use it, but I didn't know, I didn't know what to use it for because it's not a color that I gravitate to. Um, and I really thought of Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet when I, when I got this, um, but cause she just loves orange or orange, orange. <laughs> uh, so it was a really pretty orange. So I thought, well, it's more of a peachy orange. So I thought, okay, let's try it. But it's the premier color fusion chunky. You can still get this at Premier. I looked it up and I actually ended up putting a bunch of other colors of their stuff in like of this yarn in my, um, in my cart, <clears throat> maybe just a little bit last night. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I really thought this was pretty. When I did the first ball, I didn't realize that this color was in there. I thought it was just this color. So I was a little surprised when that color came out. Um, so I was like, oh, I don't know if this is going to work. I got probably four, five inches into it and I kind of went, hmm, I'm not sure. But when I finished the panel, I went, yes, I like this. <clears throat> okay. Oop. So here, here is my panel. 
but now that I'm looking at it, I don't like these breaks in here. Like that, that to me, I don't see like, it looks like somebody did a really bad paint job now that I'm looking at it. Damn it. Um, oh well, it is what it is. <clears throat> somebody will like it. <laughs> see, it's just, it's weird how the, the yarn came out like that. When you're looking at it up close, you're going, hey, that's kind of cool. But then you're looking at it from far away and I'm going, ah, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's, yeah, it's weird. Um, Because, yeah, looking at it up close, you don't notice. I don't know. Anyway. So, yeah, that's what it is. I'm not sure if I like it now. But anyway, and I, I'm using one of Angela's stitch markers. See? Um... <clears throat> So I've finished that panel. Oh. So now I'm starting the one side panel. Uh, like I say, very easy tutorial to follow. Um, <clears throat> because I make sweaters all the time, I kind of watch the first little bit. I know exactly where she's going with this. So I just continue on. Uh, oh, one thing I did with, with mine that she doesn't do with hers is she goes horizontally up. I had to go vertically because nobody, no fluffy person like me wants <clears throat> stripes going this way. It just makes you look bigger. So I start, I did the stripes this way. This almost looks like a Beetlejuice kind of thing <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> The Beetlejuice with orange. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so I had to go this way with the vertical um, lines. Uh, what else? That's about it. Just go check out her, her tutorial and uh, go do it. Go do it because it's... It seems like it's a pretty basic, basic, easy. Well, it, she says it right in the title, right? Easy hooded, to, hooded tutorial. Oh, Carol Ann's must be hitting me. <laughs> mm. The day before yesterday, I think it was. Sandy may have done a little bit of drunk shopping. I blame Charlie from having arm with Charlie. <laughs> she's she does it all the time <clears throat> um i'm not a drinker i don't normally drink uh but my back was in so much pain uh sitting standing didn't matter what i was doing right and i was just like oh god just make it go away just make it go away um <clears throat> So George went out and bought me a big, big, big bottle of sake. When I'm in a lot of pain, I'll drink sake because that crap, that hits you fast and it hits you hard. <laughs> so, um, so I don't do it in a shot glass like you're supposed to do. I do like a cup. <clears throat> Uh, you put it in a cup and you put it in the microwave, heat it up, drink that baby. Oh, nothing matters anymore. <laughs> well, Sandy had three. <clears throat> I don't know what I was thinking. I don't think I was thinking because, man, that pain, when you've got pain, it just takes over your life and you can't function. You can't think. You can't. You can't do anything. And I just really wanted to get this sweater done. <clears throat> so yeah, I did it. But to my defense, I didn't do a lot of shopping. But I did buy one thing that was probably unnecessary. But I just had to do it because it was so darn cute. So here it is. Anything for my grandbaby, right? <laughs>
<laughs> so Axel's going to have a bling soother. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> I could have gone like way overboard and stuff, but it was only $30, right? I was smart enough to stop myself <clears throat> before I spent $500 on yarn, Charlie. <clears throat> um, that's why I did it Christmas time <laughs> with the Black Friday sale. <laughs> so anyways, I, I've been watching a lot of, uh, a lot of you guys doing your uh, unboxings and stuff. Oh, I'm having such a hard time. I'm going, my God, I just filled up my shelves. But that fear of missing out and all that kind of stuff is creeping in. And I'm just going, oh, stop, Sandy, stop, Sandy, stop. Um, <clears throat> I'm supposed to go back to work on Monday. With my back the way it is, I'm really nervous. I'm like... The the doctor told me he that there's basically nothing they can do for my back. My where my discs were between my L4 and L5, they're gone. They it was a bulging disc and a ruptured disc. I guess my one did my bulging disc ruptured and I didn't even know it. And it makes your your um uh discs go on top of each other. So when I'm moving, this is going on. Now, bone does not have feeling. So it's not, I can feel the grind. It's like nails on a chalkboard. I hate it. Um, But it's the muscles and everything around it that are trying to protect it. That are just like guitar strings. And... <clears throat> The nerves around it are just hating me right now. So working, I have to see how it goes because I'm in and out of the car. For those of you that don't know that are brand new, I work for Skip the Dishes. Um, we'll have to see how it goes. I'm really nervous that I'm not going to be able to work. I don't know how much damage... How much more damage can happen with my back? I don't know the ways of the bones, but my doctor basically said, you're pooched. You know, there's nothing we can do. So that makes me very sad and it worries me a lot. <clears throat> As it is, I lost two inches in my height. Uh, I used to be 5'8", now I'm 5'6". So, yeah. Um, just keeping the pain under control is a thing. I've been off my painkillers for a long time. Uh, I just, I only took them if I had to. And it was only Robaxacet. It wasn't like it was a heavy duty painkiller. Although I did have those and I just kept them just in case I needed them. But I don't like how they make me feel. So I never took them. I ended up having to throw them out, but I, I've been taking the Robaxa set again and I don't like doing it because it kills your liver and it kills like everything. Like I just, I don't want to do it as I sit here and drink my Carol Ann's coffee, which can also kill your liver because it's alcohol. <laughs> Lesser of the evils. I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll make it through. I will, I will deal. I've been dealing with this since 2008. <clears throat> so, and I've got this thing that right between the shoulder blades. Oh, I must've been sleeping with my arms up or something because, oh my God, I'm going to have to go to a chiropractor or something. Oh, mm, it hurts. <clears throat> but anyways, enough of that. <laughs> How are you guys doing? What are you guys working on? Um, 
I don't know. After this sweater, I'm not entirely sure. I have something in the works. Uh, <clears throat> I was talking to, I've got a, a chat, a chat group on Messenger that I have with um, Have a Yarn with Charlie, uh, Charlie from Have a Yarn with Charlie, Angela from My Precious Yarnery, Sandy from Sandy, uh, <laughs> Left is Right Crochet. <laughs> Uh, Lisa from Lisa's Crochet and Cindy the Crocheter A. And we all kind of chit chat. Well, I put something out to them and said, hey, what do you guys think of this? Charlie was like, yes, let's do it. So I'm kind of thinking about it. I'm kind of going, hmm, okay, how are we going to do this? <clears throat> so I will be talking to you guys when I f about that when I figure it out. But, they, but I do have something in the works. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my channel. And I've been talking to you guys about this for quite some time. Um, I am going to be doing more videos. Right? Uh, and my content, don't know where it's going to go. Don't know where it's going to go. It could go any which way. So I am going to work on more tutorials, but I'm not sure of what. Uh, it may be small stuff. It might be um, sweaters. You let me know. Would you rather have tutorials of big stuff like sweaters, um, rowanas, <clears throat> stuff like that? Or would you rather have small stuff? like baby blankets or um, I don't even know because I don't normally make small stuff. Don't say amigurumi because I, mm -mm -mm. me and amigurumi don't mix. Um, yeah, like just small stuff. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. <laughs> Jibber jabber. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Oh, I missed you guys over this last last week. But I kind of had my hands full. And boy, was it wonderful. Oh, I miss them every day. I miss my daughter, too. She keeps sending me little snaps. Oh. <laughs> okay, I love you all. I will talk to you later. Mwah.